A federal, secular, democratic, and inclusive republic, having lost ground, finally joined the India-supported Nepali Congress-led government, hoping to cut their rivals, the left unified Marxist-Leninist party, then to, to size and the emerging as the new world leftist party. In dislodging the left government, which included the Maoists, New Delhi saw an opportunity to teach the China-backed Oli a lesson. Prachanda once sold on China, but after being out of power for seven years, admitted that India was more important for Nepal than China. He later switched sides to stay in power. Whether he has switched his ideology, only we will know. Initially, when Maoists were waging war against monarchy, and this is interesting, initially when the Maoists were waging war against monarchy, Beijing treated the Maoists with scorn. It would mock them as anti-state rebels, miscreants, hijackers of Mao's, Mao's fair name. When India stopped supply of weapons to the then Royal Nepal Army after King Ganyan was coup, China provided them weapons. Once Prachanda came to power, this is even more interesting. Once Prachanda came to power, China announced eloquently that we have now rediscovered the ideological affinities with the Maoists. The election to power after the civil war by the Maoists supported by the left parties was a turning point in China-Nepal relations. The former jettisoning its policy, the Chinese, jettisoning their policy of non-interference in internal affairs of Nepal. China spread its tentacles across Nepal, politically, culturally, and economically, as it, in, as it enlarged its strategic space. So when India first tried to break up the Oli Prachanda coalition, in early 2016, Beijing formed a phalanx of resistance. But months later, Prachanda, on being offered premiership by the Nepali Congress, deserted Oli and joined the India-backed Nepali Congress, led by Sher Bahadur Diopa. Soon, Prachanda again changed his mind in one of the only best-kept secrets in the history of modern Nepal. The leftists, that is, the UML and Maoists coming together in the left alliance, which was formed during uh, during time of the same. And this left alliance uh, further led to uh, their fighting these elections, the local, um, the provincial, and the federal elections, um, in which uh, they triumphed. The left alliance was not only won the elections, as I said, a clean sweep, uh, unprecedented in the political history of Nepal, local, provincial, national, every level of elections, uh, nearly two-thirds majority. So, it seems that everything in Nepal seems to be going the NCP way, that's the National Communist Party of Nepal. It seems so. Uh, the geopolitical lands landscape has changed so drastically beyond India's comprehension that it continued to rely on its antiquated roti Beti khun mantra. Even Modi's magic moments of 2014, when he visited Nepal, were lost. Uh, for India, Nepal appeared as its first casualty 
in its neighborhood first policy. Now let me uh, look at the uh, bilateral relations, dissect these relations. But before I do that, just a few words about how Nepal has changed. Some of you may have read uh, Shakya's book, uh, Unleashing the Vajra, in which he outlines how uh, Nepal has changed. Uh, 30 billion people, 35 billion uh, GDP, and looking beyond India. Nepal is looking beyond India, looking north, and looking beyond India is not a new concept. Some of you will remember that uh, when the Maoists 